Welcome back to What the Dickens Wear. Before the break, I asked you what lasts for over 20 minutes on the Lord of the Rings extended DVD. Does Sense any... of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Sound of the cash tills ringing in the local merchandise store. I um, want you both to get that right. The it's the credits. So it is the credits. Well done. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. fans could pay <laughs> to have their names added to the credits, uh, which resulted in a mammoth 20-minute credit sequence. That's a list of people you'd be keen to meet, isn't it? That's <laughs> Best five pounds I ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up is Common People, where we show our teams images of three famous people and ask them to work out what improbable thing links them. So, Chris and Frank, these are your three common people. <laughs> Uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Albert Camus, and Julio Iglesias. They know on the left, so danger of losing the point if you're not careful here. Well, uh, uh, Camus was a Camus? Uh, was, he was a goalie, wasn't he? He was a, a football. In in Iglesias was a, Iglesias played for Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I think he was a goalkeeper as well. So have a guess. Were Does they... that mean Arthur Conan Doyle was a goalkeeper? They all played as football goalkeepers to a very high standard. Wow! Absolutely right. Arthur Conan Doyle played for Portsmouth FC, uh, whatever that may be. Albert Camus played for Racing Universitaire Algerois and Julio Higlesis. I do hope I get the Eurovision commentary next year. <laughs> Julio Higlesis uh, was on Real Madrid's uh, books. Uh, so you get two points for that. Well done. Thank Terrific. You. Yes. What did Higlesis take over 30 years to complete? The, um, the lyrics to To All the Girls I've Loved Before. <laughs> Sandra, I couldn't Belinda, have... <laughs> Tomasena, Carol. Well, I'm 30 Carol. Carol. An old Spanish name, Carol. Sometimes. <laughs> Carolina. <laughs> Was it his hairstyle? Uh, no, 30 years to complete his law degree. Uh, he finished it in 2001. His it's no. <laughs> got a lot of pants to get through. Did he watch them before he sent them back? Mm -hmm, ladies. <laughs> the answer was his law degree. Uh, OK, can I just say, because the thing was about football goalkeepers, I've got a series of football jokes, not one of which I've understood. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do them now, and, and then you can maybe help me. <clears throat> Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was a goalkeeper. Elementary, my dear Watson, being the best back four he ever played behind. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I don't know why that's supposed to be. They said, this will go well, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> know your audience. <laughs> okay, I've got a joke that involves existentialism and football. This is Good. an unusual oh, thing. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Albert Camus would often reflect upon the existentialist notion that happiness is fleeting and that the human condition is one of mortality before being interrupted by shouts of, wake up, you pillock, that's the eighth goal you've let in. <laughs> This is as bad as the time the question of sport did that Wordsworth round. Yeah. <laughs> this is a whole separate series. I think it Sky is. Sports One. Sandy Albert does soccer. <laughs> with Andy Gray. Yeah. Oh, Sandy, great joke. See her finish it off. She knows what she's got to do. She does the punchline. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> do the elementary, my dear Watson, Mark Ford. That's, Come on, that's Sandy. quality. That's quality. Yeah. Let's move on. Uh, Sir John, let's take a look at your threesome. Not words I've ever said on Sky <laughs> Yes. Yes. Oh. oh, hello. Ah. Oh. Oh, a little bit of a teaser there. So Lord Lucan on the right. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? It looks like the Pope. It's Mickey Rooney. That's... Dressed as a bishop. Yeah, dressed as a bishop for reasons uh, I can't fathom. Uh, it's Mick Jagger and the best photograph we could find of a reclusive writer. Uh, Who's a reclusive writer? Pynchon. Thomas Pynchon. Thomas Pynchon. Pynchon. Well Pynchon. done. Yeah. It does look exactly like him. That's yes. exactly uh, who it is. It's a very fog. close up of one of his paws. Yeah. Thomas I want, Pynchon in a fog. I want you to see what might link these three people. Think animated characters. Mm. Think. Uh, ah. Okay. Mm. Oh, so they've all voice animation. <clears throat> the Simpsons. They. Have uh, all appeared, appeared as the themselves in, in an episode of The Simpsons. Absolutely amazing. right. Well done. Oh, <laughs> so before, when you said the best picture you could find of Thomas Pynchon, yeah. was that one. Yeah. What about the one of him in The Simpsons? He's drawn on the Simpsons. Yeah, but that's a drawing, and we couldn't well, afford it. that's better than nothing. Oh, <laughs> right, right, would, would it yeah. not have been a bit of a clue as well? <laughs> <laughs> if it was Thomas. Yeah. 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 Now that you put it like that, yeah. Frank. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, why, yeah. not have, why not have all three of them if they <laughs> yeah. appeared in The Simpsons? <laughs> Nicky Rooney had a long and wide-ranging career from co-starring with Judy Garland to appearing as himself in The Simpsons. With yellow skin and comically distorted features, Judy Garland died an alcoholic. <laughs> so, at the end of that round, it's even six points to each team. Uh, we finish with losing the plot. In this quick-fire round, our captains communicate the plots of works of literature, film or song to their teammates, uh, without mentioning names or places and without alluding to the title people. Yes. Sue and John, you've got 90 seconds to see how many John can get right. Go. Uh, Teutonic submarine movie. Uh, uh, Ice Station Zebra. Uh, uh, submarine. Um, food. Um, this is a pirate radio station recent film. Caroline. Oh, uh, um, they're both the rocks. Oh, uh, God, the musical also says on a ship. Um, um, two words. Ooh, oh, it's grandma's um, party. When, you, when uh, you're putting on a play, when you're doing a bit of a thing, what are you doing? You're putting on a uh, uh, showboat. Indeed. Um, she knows that her heart will go on, but she's so so far deep in the ocean. I doubt it. It's technically <laughs> impossible for that heart to go on. She knows it will go on. Oh, they all die. What's that? An iceberg, you say? Well, come oh, into water. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes, and um, oh, a seminal playwright from across the pond. Uh, this uh, is a longshipman, uh, and um, he's, he's shops his uh, two oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. friends to the immigration bureau. Uh, uh, view from the bridge. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, this uh, fantastic novel um, gives birth to a serial killing son. Um, there's uh, problems there. Uh, I don't uh, like having uh, a son. Is a serial killer? Uh, we need to talk about Kevin. Yes, we do. Um, She's a lady. She's had it off with somebody he may or mo may not like garlic snails. Um, uh, uh, he's uh, in the uh, army. Me, you know, uh, no, uh, he's got quite high rank, and he's from that country where they eat uh, baguettes. French lieutenant's woman. Yes, and she's a prostitute. He's rich. Together they form one of Pretty the most woman. bleak movies I've ever seen. Pretty woman. <laughs> I'm blind. I can't see, but I can touch your breasts. Uh, hoo he ha. He says hoo ha. Scene stealing, chewing, spitting actor. Um, <laughs> Google eyes. Uh, say hello to my little friend. Um, what are you talking about? See you, baby. Give you, uh, eight points. You need nine. Starting from now, please. Okay, um, it's a musical based on a play in which um, a professor takes a young woman. My fair lady. Yep. Uh, this is a, a film. A couple of kids take a film that they really like and try and remake it. Oh, uh, R Rambo. Yeah, but, but it's uh, it's not my daughter. It's my a son of Rambo. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this is set in uh, Shanghai. Oh. Bollocks. Uh, that's a proper noun. Yes, um, okay, uh, these are two outlaws in the Wild West. Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. Yes, and uh, the Sundance this King. is a trilogy of children's books based on uh, well, the, t the title of the, the trilogy. The Lionel no. no, modern. The, tr the, the title of the oh, trilogy. Um, is Dark Material. That's it. Um, this is a, uh, it was the subject of a fatwa uh, in the 80s. Um, the Satanic book. Verses. That's right. Uh, this is by a, a, a play by a gay playwright. Um, about um, uh, it, it's about uh, <laughs> it's about a, a gentleman. His name is in the title and uh, entertaining and Mr. Slow. Yeah, this is about some schoolboys. It's a play very recently, also a film that was a hit. Uh, uh, the history book. That's right. Uh, this is uh, the most recent film about a well-known spy, uh, a British spy. It's been going for years. It's a oh, rubbish this film. Is, oh yeah, it's a quantum of solace. That's right. Can this you is need one more? This is a play okay, about okay. it's a uh, it's a play by the national playwright from all those years ago uh, about uh, it's set. In, oh damn it! It's about I don't actually know what. What do you have with mustard? <laughs> mustard and um, Hamlet. No mustard and Hamlet. No, what's the other thing? Mustard and mustard little and plant and cheese. <laughs> no little plants on, like mustard, like Come like mustard the tiny shoots. Mustard and yes, oh, yeah. Try this and cut it off. It's a draw with 14 points each. This has been What the Dickens, I've been Sandy Toxvig. I'm off to see a tribute to Marcel Marceau, and I hope they've got subtitles this time. I'll see you there. Good night.